Hey, it's Ryan Moody here, helping you to fish smarter, not harder. In this week's blog post, a little bit of a tip on how to save you a few dollars in the pocket in an embarrassing situation. Now, as far as fish measuring goes, uh, a lot of people uh, would have used and seen the old fold-out braid mats. Unfortunately, they, uh, they do ripple up, and some of them are a little bit susceptible to the heat and, uh, and the cold shrinking and uh, stretching. So as you can see, these, they're never really a very good source of an accurate measurement. It's okay if you want to measure your, a big bar or something, and okay, it was 103. It actually might have been 101 or 102. Who cares? Nice fish anyway. So with these, as you can see, they become crinkled and don't give a true measurement. But there are these ones from, uh, it's called the Accumat from Softgaff. Um, you can actually mount these on the side of your boat as well, uh, if you put a Velcro strip under there. And they've got a nice flat vinyl surface, um, or kind, type of vinyl. Uh, I believe it doesn't uh, stretch in the sun. And um, yeah, it rolls up nice and neat as well. So yeah, it's pretty easy. And once again, you can leave it on the side of your boat. It gives you a very accurate measurement. Now that's mostly because if you're going to take a fish and uh, you get back to the boat ramp and you've taken it on one of these old ones and a 58 centimetre barrel might have been 58 centimetres when you, when you measured it on that. When measured on something else, the fisheries might find it's only 56 centimetres or 57. So that's one thing to take into account. If you're going to measure fish, use a good device. Um, I'm a bit old school, I always got notches engraved down the side of my boat, so you can't go wrong there, can we? Another thing that people do wrong is when they measure the fish, on any board for that matter, is they don't push the head up nice and tight and close the bottom jaw, and then hold it against the headboard that way. Do not let the mouth open and let the bottom jaw touch only, because when the fisheries measure it later, it's going to be a different measurement to yours. And then what you do is just push the head up, keep the body, the head tight against it, and then go down the back, fan the tail out, and then take your measurement from the centre of the tail. This is going to give you the truest possible measurement on any fish that you want to take home for dinner, especially when you're measuring close to the legal size limit. Also, another little tip uh, is also just remember with, with the fish, because of their muscle and everything, they contract as the colder they get. So during the day when you've got your fish on the ice, um, what happens is that fish might have been 58 centimetres in the morning, um, but by the afternoon it's going to be 56 and a half, 57 centimetres. So once again it'll measure under size in the case of a 58 centimetre barramundi. So a couple of little things to take into account when you are uh, measuring your fish. Uh, use a good device and watch for the shrinkage. I don't allow any barramundi to be taken under about 61 centimetres, not that we take many anyway. Keep that into account uh, when you're fishing and a good tip for you beginners out there. So if you enjoyed this little tip and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and if you only want some special tips, I send out via email only, head on over to our website www.rhymoodyfishing.com and sign up for free email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, and see you next time.